So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys some clues, or I'm going to do a drawing of a like a river landscape. I thought that would be pretty cool. And I guess you can get some ideas on how you could do one um, for yourself. And also, you know, how you could lay it out and stuff like that. Now, um, let's get to it. Now, in terms of drawing like a river landscape, um, hmm. okay, let, let's say, um, how could I show you this? Uh, let, okay, let's say we have, uh, mm, let's, okay, let's say we, we're looking at, this is an aerial view, okay, and that's the river, like that, okay, right here. So it's like you're looking at a map of the river. Now, this is from up top looking down. Now, if you're looking uh, at an angle, it's going to look like this. So this is like a 3D map, okay? So this is the earth here, and, you know, you're looking at the river here, like this, okay? So this is a view of this, okay? Now, um, the, why am I doing this? Because I'm trying to have you see something here, okay, like this. Now how much of the river you see depends on how steep the view is between this and this so in other words if I have a view like this and a view okay like right here and right here if I have a low vanishing point I'm gonna see less of the river see like that if I have a high vanishing point I'm gonna see more of the river you see that it's like the sun the sun okay so if I have um, a really low this is like a middle vanishing point if I have a really low multi vanishing point like this then I barely will see much of the river so the point I'm making is how you work how you want to you know you should determine well this is if you're using your imagination okay to uh, kind of like manipulate what you see you don't want to just draw what you see but I'm just giving you clues and how to conceptualize your landscape river scene okay so um of course this will mean say for example there's a mountain on this side and there's trees on this side like that you know this affects how much you see so this may be blocking everything else from being seen so you may only see the, the little mountain here and you may see the trees on this side but with this a view like this you're seeing a lot more so that mountain may be here but you'll also be able to see more trees here you may be able to see a house in the distance you know this just gives you different clues and how you know what's the approach you want to use and also even say for example this is a view this can also determine how much of the river am I gonna see am I gonna have it cut off like this you know where the, a tree may be here and you know this may be shrubs going around the river like that and it may bend that way and you may have it run off this of this of the the viewfinder or your view and then you may have it come back somewhere in the distance up here you see what I'm saying so point is you should give thought to how you want to organize it and what you want to be included and so on and so forth so I'm just going to use a uh, general I'm gonna say like okay I have like a uh, let's say I have like a, a midway vanishing point okay this is my vanishing, my horizon, rather, here. Um, and my river is going to be like this. It's going to go like this, see? And there's going to be, you know, it's always cool to have like a piece of land jutting out like that. And then you may have a tree or two, you know, some shrubs here, you know, like this. Um, uh, will I have go that way or that way? <laughs> uh, maybe both, okay? So this is like the land in the background here you know I could have maybe a house uh, I could have a house here no that may not show enough let's I put this a little bit higher because I want to show some reflection so I'm gonna raise this a little bit see this is why it's good to play around with your you know sketch out stuff and um, and and you know play around and imagine stuff and, and create as you go along you can have um, a house here um, can I have, even have a bridge that goes here too. Hmm. How could we do this? Could I have a bridge going over this to a little house. I'm trying to really put in a bunch of little things so you can get a view on how to, you know, play around with designing your uh, your scene, you know? Have a little tree there. Can I have this go back more? Like this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just do a bridge in another video. 
This could be another video in itself. So let's say we have this. We have a little house over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put a house here. A little tree next to it, you know. And have some shrubs and trees here. You will have a tree, uh, the house reflected there. Um, and I have a tree here. Let's keep it simple, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. Mountains in the back and whatnot. So you, you have a little sketch of, of what's, you know, what's going on. Now, let's get straight in. Yeah, I just kind of like did this, uh, just decided I would add this little section here. This is like a, a little foreground that's kind of like in shadow based on the view. And, you know, it adds a little interest to it, I guess. Um, so, you know, it's cool when you're doing your drawing to be a little spontaneous, to go with the flow of things. If you think you find or feel something that um, you feel will work, just, just go with it. Take the chance and uh, experiment a little bit. That's a cool thing with pen and ink because of the nature of the... Um, the medium it will sometimes suggest things abstractly and you just go along with it and, and see where it goes and you'll be surprised at the type of results you can get but it's it's really cool <laughs> 